Good evening. My name is Jay Schaefer, and I'm a candidate for Adams County Clerk in the Court. I'm a lifelong resident of Adams County. I served seven years on the Adams County Board and sat on the Finance Committee. I'm a 29-year veteran of the Illinois National Guard and was awarded a Bronze Star for leadership during my tour in Iraq. The County Clerk does not vote on raising or lowering your taxes, does not vote on any social issues that might affect you. What the County Clerk Office demands is integrity, honesty, accountability, and fiscal responsibility. I see a challenge in this office. I see a need to strengthen these qualities. I see a need for a real leader who is responsible and accountable to the taxpayers of our county. I believe the current County Clerk has been irresponsible in allowing the county to receive a qualified opinion on the annual audit simply because she will not cooperate with the auditors. I know I can do better. For real leadership, for real life leadership, integrity, and experience, vote for me on November 2nd. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Georgia Baum, the county clerk. You know, eight years ago, I saw a real need for fiscal responsibility in the county clerk's offices. The year before I took office, the expenses were $771,000. They have been between $480,000 and $550,000 every year since. It is because of my strong background. I am the candidate with a college degree, with professional office experience, that those expenses have been reduced. We've made many changes. We've recreated those offices. And it is because of that recreation that our taxpayers no longer have frivolous expenses. Our elections are fair. We have solid audit trails and source documents. Information is easier to access. And we have non-tax related revenue streams. My staff and I are still working to reduce expenses. And we're still working for non-tax related revenues to be brought into the county and we both, all of us, look forward to serving you again for four more years. Thank you. Next candidate for Treasurer, Terry Asher. I'm Terry Asher, the Republican candidate for Treasurer. I'm here to serve. The Treasurer has two jobs. He receives public funds and provides it to over 120 taxing districts, pays county bills, and provides financial reports to the county board. As collector, he also generates and mails 36,000 property tax bills, and collect $65 million in taxes. You trust the treasurer to handle your tax dollars properly. It's a serious job that requires a leader with attention to detail, strong accounting and computer skills, and unquestioned character. Service has been my life. I have extensive leadership, computer, and financial experience through my 22 years as an Air Force officer, as a church treasurer, and as a finance chairman of a local nursing home. I also recently took a government accounting course to learn more about specific government accounting procedures and standards. I have the leadership experience and character to become your next treasurer, and I ask for your vote. Reg Ancrum. Good evening. I'm Reg Ancrum. I'm glad to be with you and glad you've taken the time to be with us. I'm running to become your next county treasurer because I believe I can bring fresh business experience, fresh practices, and fresh ideas to government. I'm the only candidate with decades of business experience. As Quincy Area Superintendent for CIPS, I was responsible for the efficient and economical delivery of electricity and natural gas to tens of thousands of customers. For the past five years, I've owned and operated my own small business. I've built and managed multi-million dollar budgets and led large teams of men and women who, like me, know that we are only successful if our customers are satisfied. And my administration will treat taxpayers like customers. We'll deliver the highest quality service at the lowest possible price. We'll satisfy our customers so well that they would want to come back to us even if they had a choice. My plans as treasurer, jobs. I have a plan to help put our people back to work. Savings. I'm the only candidate to offer initiatives that will not add a penny to our cost of doing business. Putting people first. People, not systems, will drive us. We'll look for how we can, not why we cannot. I'll be honored to win your vote. And candidates for Adams County Sheriff, John McCoy. I'd like to thank the League of Women Voters for hosting this event. I'll restore integrity and honesty to the Adams County Sheriff's Department. Under 
underneath the leadership of Brent Fisher, thefts within the department has been a problem. Two separate bond thefts have occurred within the department, over totaling over $1,000. Another theft occurred within the department for over $11,000. Additionally, it has been discovered that one officer took items for his personal use while serving a search warrant. That officer still is within the department and was reassigned as to the detective section of the department. Law enforcement officers should be held to a higher standard than the public that we serve. Brent Fisher has chosen to hide from the truth rather than to deal with it. This cannot be tolerated. The citizens of Adams County deserve better, and that's why I'm running for sheriff of Adams County. Good evening. I'm Brent Fisher, and I want to thank the League of Women Voters uh, for putting this candidate forum on tonight. And we certainly know how to get things started. Um, I am here to ask for your vote for a fourth term as Adams County Sheriff. Under the previous administration, the Alma administration, I remind you, we have brought it to a higher level of professional service to Adams County, and the numbers show it. Uh, if Mr. McCoy wants to uh, be the professional law enforcement officer that he claims to be, then some of these issues should have been brought to the appropriate uh, uh, attention. Uh, so that kind of tells me a lot about his so-called integrity and how he's wishing to serve. But under, the, under my leadership, we have brought modern professional service by bringing resources, equipment, cooperation with area agencies. We're more effective than ever serving the victims of crime through keeping our patrol on the streets, instilling an investigative unit by maintaining contact with victims throughout any case. We invested in our children's safety by putting the deputies in our rural schools. We have a fully trained special response team, and we are more aggressive in serving violent offenders. I would ask again for your vote. 